All right, I'm Alex Wilkie, and I'm here with special guest. Vita Guerra. And we're going to go over some gun safety today. When somebody hands you the gun, first thing you do is you always assume that the gun's loaded, mm -hmm. okay? Always assume it's loaded. You never put your finger on the trigger. So the first thing I would do if somebody hands me the gun is I'm going to magazine release. I'm going to take the magazine out, make sure that that's empty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to store that somewhere. Then I'm going to rack the slide back and look, and then I can lock it back and visually inspect that there's no round in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking. I can also put my finger in there to check to make sure it's nothing in there, right? Okay. So you can even rack a few times just to make sure that something did, maybe the extractor didn't mm -hmm. catch the round if there was one mm -hmm. in there, all right? So then, after you've done that, you're going to take the mag back out, and then you can insert the mag back into the handgun. Now, it's still empty because we didn't put a loaded mag in there. Mm -hmm. And you're going to know that because you're going to be the one that inspects the mag, makes sure it's empty, you put it back in. All right, you're going to get the mag release. Just press that button, pull it out, and I'll hold it for you. Now you're going to turn the gun, and it's right, pull that slide back. There you go. And then when you pull it back, make sure that you angle it down and look right in there to make sure that you see there's no bullet in that mm -hmm. gun. Okay? Okay. I'm going to take the gun magazine, and then you're going to put it right back into the gun. Good. So now you can also lock the slide back. So when you have the gun, you pull this back, and you push this up, and that'll mm -hmm. lock that slide all the way to the rear. Okay. Now with a magazine in this gun, when this gun fires the last round, this is going to stay open like this. It's going to lock back. Mm -hmm. That'll tell you that the gun's empty. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you put a full mag back in, you'll just rack the slide or you can hit the magazine release because you have smaller hands. Mm -hmm. Sometimes reaching this is going to be a little hard and mm -hmm. it's hard to pull down on. You can just pull this back. Now, it won't work if there's an empty mag in because it will stay locked. But if I put a full mag in there and then I just pull that back and let it go, it'll be ready to fire. Okay. Okay? And let it go. Right. That's it. So when you're releasing that slide, what you want to do is you, you, you kind of want, if you can go over the top, better mm -hmm. to grab. Okay. Not wrong. But better. You don't want to hang on to it. You don't want it. You don't want to let it drag because then it might not seat the round all the way. Okay, mm. so it won't fight. So when that's locked, when this is locked back, you just pull it and let it go. Okay. There you go. That's it. Really good. Good. And the same thing. So when you're doing that, also the same thing. Remember, you're always pointing in a safe direction. Mm -hmm. Finger is not on the trigger because the minute you release that with a full mag, it's going to be ready to fire. Mm -hmm. Your initial grip is the most important part of start the whole process of shooting. So the first thing you do is you're just going to grab down firmly like a, a handshake so the gun's seated. Yeah, that's right mm -hmm. there. Got it. And as I grab, this would also be hitting the release on this holster. But for right now, we're just going to go over here. Oh, this. Here. Mm -hmm. Then when you come out, as soon as I come out of the holster, the gun's going to start to engage t towards the threat. And then it's going to come up and come meet my other hand. My other hand's going to be here, and it's going to come up, and I'm going to punch straight out into the throat. Okay? The first thing we're going to do is go over how your hand should be held on the gun. When this hand grips the gun, this is a firm grip on there, firm handshake. This other hand is going to meet this. You're going to, you see people shoot like this? Wrong. Mm -hmm. Not a cup and saucer. You want, you want this. You want to punch into the gun. So my hand's going to be this. This hand, think of this thumb like a dart, mm -hmm. okay? And like you're going to stick it into what you're shooting, all right? So just like you're jabbing this like an ice pick mm -hmm. right into what you're shooting, okay? So you, want, you can put pressure on the side of the gun. It's not a problem. This thumb is going to be above here, not underneath. I'm okay. going to try to keep this one on top. This finger's not up. Try If you remember to point this at what you're aiming at, mm -hmm. it's going to help your accuracy match. all right? Okay. So that was a, that was... Uh, I was at a range one time training with some special forces guys and this one Green Beret guy was kind of showing me this little trick and after he showed me and worked on it for a while it was in not, in not only the accuracy but the speed of getting oh, really? the accuracy because I was kind of using, you use that as a guide and you're up, punching it right out on target so uh -huh. you'll find that that will help you. Okay. Right here. I'm going to angle this down. Right, so you want to visualize this. Mm -hmm. You want to fill this spot with this front post. That way it wouldn't be in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take it back, put it down at your side, and then once you just bring it back up, you don't have to put it in the holes. Okay. Just bring it up and then show me that grip again. Okay? Right, you gotta adjust it. Let me just show you one thing that you're going to do, right? So when you're here like this, what you don't want to do is this. You want to like shove, shove the gun like this. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, you want to bring the, bring the gun up so that the muzzle is always towards the target, the threat. And then same when you're coming back. Go back this way. So as it comes out, it's already here, so if I had to take the shot, I can already start shooting. And then it's going to come up, meet this hand here, 
and punch this out. Now we're going to work on that presentation in a minute, but right now we just want to get the grip, but I just want to stop, try to break that habit right out, out of the gate, right? Okay, perfect. So a little trick that we do, and I'm not going to draw on you now, but what we would do is we'll take a marker once you establish your good grip, and I would take a line, and I would draw a line on this, this hand and right here. So every time you come up, it would be like if I had these two marks on my hand, mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of guess that they would be, they would always match up. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you've established the grip, where it would be, you would put two marks once you're comfortable, and then every time you're training and presenting that pistol, you would look and make sure that those lines line up. Then you know your grip's going to be the same all the time. Okay. Every time it changes, your shots change. And then punch it straight out. Good. That's it, right, right. See how you have that thumb over top? That's that's the key mm -hmm. right there. Good. How's that feel to you, all right? Okay. That's it right there, good. Here we go. Now just go like the, yeah, just you can bring it right from here. And just come out a few times, just punch straight out. Good. Okay. Straight out. Good. By the way, I played cops in the... In movies, so like I, I've had like okay. a fake gun, and right, like, right. you know, right so on. this will actually be even better. I'll be Absol even yeah. better at this. You, you're absolutely right. When yeah. people watch a movie, they'll know you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know? Stand in the chest, start to engage the target, right? Meet it here, roll it, roll here, and then your grip's gonna pop right on. Right. Got it. Good. Do it again. Bring it up. Okay, good. Again. Make sure you bring this other hand right mm -hmm. to your chest when you grab bring that down. Good. That's better. Make sure again this thumb wants to be here. This is the key that's gonna keep you consistent with your shooting, right? Mm -hmm. If this grip is off, you can still shoot. But, but it won't be. Right. Yeah. It be exactly. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice shooting platform. Kind of as if you were almost like in a fighting stance. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to be. Like that. Not too much. You, don't need to, you know, if you can shoot like this, combat shooting, whatever, but you don't need to. The less you move your body. When you bring the gun out to engage, mm -hmm. the faster you're going to be, and there's no there's no wasted motion, right? Mm -hmm. And then and, and any movement I do on my knees, my head, whatever moves this, okay? okay. So the slightest little bit of movement is going to move that muscle. And it's going to throw your shot off. So when you bring this out, nothing as this hand comes out, you'll see nothing. I don't move any part of my body, but the gun. I bring the gun up to my eyes, mm -hmm. right? I'm not doing this, I'm not dropping my head down, I'm not leaning my head to the side. I'm coming out, I'm coming from here, punching out, and that's it. So now you're going to start with your hands from here, you're just going to bring the gun out, just pull it right out, there you go. Okay. Back out, okay, good, do it again. Good stance, remember, mm -hmm. don't move any part of your body in this hand, make sure that this hand goes right here like this, so I'm, as I'm reaching for that weapon, my, wherever my hands are, when I reach to my weapon, this hand instinctively is going to come right back to here. It's just going to come habit. Yes. And then you're going to meet that hand right at your chest and keep straight up. Okay? So do the same thing. Just take your time. Go slow. Okay? All right. So you know what? The, one I of the problems I see right here is when you're, go, you're coming here, your hand's down low here. Yeah, right? I still have Bring this hand right up here, like your heart. Okay. Right to your heart, and then you meet the gun right there. You gotta kind of get that to meet almost at the same time. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot going on here, right? Yeah, it's yeah. tricky. It's, the, there's that's a lot why to I'm it. like in my mind. It's not it's, easy. You, you see it, right? Yes. I'm trying to like it, figure it out until you get it. Okay. That's better. And what'll help you? This thing, right? Punching that, not not coming up and shoving like this, not me. Yeah, so you and just punch straight out. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Punch straight out. Good. Do that same motion three more times. Good. Let people say when, they, when after you're shooting, people come back and they say, don't look at your holster. You know, get used to not looking at your holster. Okay. Number one, you want to be safe. So there's nothing wrong with being extra safe and doing that. Mm -hmm. Green Berets that I trained with, one time they said, when they're on the range, somebody asked them that question. They said, if you cannot take the time to look at your holster to put your gun away, why are you putting your gun away? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. You wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Keep it out. You still have a threat. You're still engaging. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's good to be able to do it, but it's also more important to be safe. So if you're not comfortable doing it that way, there's nothing wrong with 
after you're done, bringing it back, looking at the holster, physically looking at it, make sure your fingers are off the trigger and putting it back in. Um, I've seen a lot of times, I've seen some of the top shooters that I train with, and I see people watching and see them shoot and comment on what they're doing. They're like, you know, they just, they, they appreciate what they're watching, but they really don't know what they're watching. Because mm -hmm. the mechanics and the time spent and the commitment to what they're doing mm -hmm. and be able to do consistently is really hard, you know, and you get that when you start shooting for real. You realize how hard it is to do, right? Anybody mm -hmm. can just grab a gun and just shoot things. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot to it. Any of the videos or things that we put out with shooting or some of the top shooters I shoot with, they see the cool stuff on video that they post up, but they don't see the hour or two hours prior to that, that we just did all the things that we're doing together. Mm -hmm. The basics, you know, working on shot placement, checking our targets, making sure this is good, critiquing each other. And then once, by the end of the day, then we put those videos because people like to see that. Yeah. The fundamentals they want to watch because it's boring. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, oh, they grab the hand. You know, people, people want action. They want action. Yeah. Okay, so we get them action. Okay, we get them action. <laughs>